Uh, what's up everyone? Uh, today is October the 23rd. I believe I said that yesterday. Yesterday when I made my first video it was the 22nd. I'm terrible with dates. You'll learn to recognize that, trust me. Um, it's my bad, whatever. Uh, today I just want to talk a little about um, kind of a little subject that in cases, you know, my situation, in cases everyone's in the situation in life, um, I'll leave it with the title, um, Running Your Route. Uh, sounds simple enough and basically is, I mean, uh, this whole idea that, you know, you're going to be given things in life, you're going to be tossed obstacles, opportunities, whatever it be, I mean, it's for you, it's personal, um, but you're going to have to choose how to take those on, uh, whether... There's, I mean, millions of ways to take on anything, uh, but that's your choice. Um, and so, you know, for me, I can take whatever I, whatever route I want to um, on the situation I'm given. Uh, real quick, I want to go um, reading this book, No Storm Lasts Forever by Dr. Uh, Dr. Terry Gordon. Um, an amazing book, seriously. Uh, great read. I knocked 120 pages out of it in one day. It was one of those things I could hardly put it down. Uh, and he kind of goes into the story. He, um, I'll just read a little something out of here. Uh, he's talking um, of a Native American legend. Pretty simple. Uh, I'll read it for you guys, actually. Um, While sitting by a campfire one evening, an old Cherokee brave was looking deeply into the fire's burning embers. His grandson walked up and sat down next to him, having come to ask for advice. The young boy shared his feelings of anger he had just directed at a friend who had done him injustice. The old brave imparted to the following wisdom. Grandson, let me tell you a story. I have also felt great anger and even hatred to those who have taken so much from our land and given back so little. But hatred only wears you down. It does not affect your enemy. There is a battle that rages within me, within all people. The battle is between two wolves that live inside of us. One is evil, the wolf is angry. He is filled with envy, jealousy, and resentment. Arrogant and greedy, he is full of hatred. He fights with everyone, sometimes for no reason at all. He cannot think clearly because his hatred has overpowered him. The other wolf, however, is good. He is full of joy, peace, love, and hope. He is benevolent in his generosity, humble in his compassionate approach. He lives in harmony with those around him and will only fight if it becomes absolutely necessary. Grandson, the battle between these two wolves often rages for moons. As they sat there in silence, watching the hot embers glow in the fire, the grandson contemplated his grandfather's words. After a while, he asked, Grandfather, which wolf wins? The old Cherokee simply smiled and said, My grandson, the one you feed. Um, I mean, it just makes so much sense, you know. You, you can sit around, you can look at this, you know, oh, this happened to me, you know, whether it be what I have or whether it be you messed up on an English essay, you can sit there. But really, in the end, the one that's going to prevail is the one you're going to fight for, you know? The one you're going to take sides with. I mean, why why would I just, you know, sit around and be so upset, negative about this, feed that bad wolf when I could, I mean, feed the good wolf, you know? It, it just makes so much sense. It makes too much sense, you know? Um, another thing I kind of do, it's kind of weird. Uh, whenever I pick up a book, I read, before I do anything, I read the last paragraph, and I'll read that for you guys right now. Um, the falls of our life have indeed given us the energy to propel ourselves to a place of much higher consciousness. God has never once left our side. I am certain his divine presence will remain with us as we continue along our way through yet uncharted terrain. What lies ahead only our guide knows. It is certain we'll encounter more than thunderclouds. But these too shall pass, for in God's creative wisdom, no storm lasts forever. Namaste. There you go. I mean, it's an amazing book, seriously. I suggest it to anyone, no matter what's going on, you know, if you're feeling bad, if you're feeling like a million bucks, you should read this book. It's, it's great, you know, um, and that's one of those things that I think it really supports my point, you know, uh, everything moves on, you know, no storm lasts forever. Hell, I mean, it was just pouring out here in Ohio. I mean, I can tell you guys about the forecast and the weather, but why, you know, so, um, just run your route, you know. Do what you got to do. It's tailored to yourself. I mean, you can idolize people, but it really, it's all on you, you know, what, what you're going to do, who you're going to feed, who you're going to support. Um, it's up to you. So yeah, simple thought for you guys. Uh, I'll be sure to keep in touch. Uh, thanks for listening. Benefiting so greatly from this already, you know, um, just getting my feelings out, my thoughts. It's great. Hopefully you guys are benefiting too. All right. Later, everyone.